Jim with Cheryl Courtside back in McCabe. Jim with the Lady Soars winning in four against Point Loma. Very uh, decisive win in the end. Joined now by uh, Chaminade middle blocker Ray Manchos. Ray, can you hear me okay? All right, I'm going to have to speak a little louder. Sorry, I forgot the headset today, yeah, so uh, hopefully good. you can hear me. But anyway, Ray, a fantastic match, a good comeback uh, after last night, losing for the first time here mm -hmm. at home against H uh, APU. But uh, the Swords, I think, coming out today uh, with a lot of energy, uh, really did a good job putting last night behind. He came up with a nice win today. Yeah, uh, we definitely had our team shows a lot of resiliency, and I think that was our main goal today is to show that we are resilient and we're going to get right back on that winning streak and keep going forward. Now talk about this team, how it was last night. After that loss, I know you were disappointed, but it didn't seem to me that you were necessarily down. Uh, it was just a setback, a little stumble. You knew that, uh, well, coming into today, uh, you just come right back and then play swords, uh, swords volleyball. For sure. We knew that it wasn't our best game, um, our best effort, so we knew that we just had to come back and um, give everything that we had and uh, obviously it was hard to take but I think our team is really resilient in that way of turning things around and knowing that we've got it. You know for you personally uh, your first year uh, at the college level what has been uh, with the biggest difference for you uh, coming from high school into the college game? I think the motivation of all of us mm -hmm. are, is way bigger um, and obviously the reward is way bigger and um, we want to take it all the way, and the um, conviction that every single one of us has is amazing, and every single one of us believes that we can get there. You know, of course, the middle uh, blocker position, very important. Uh, you have had a chance to really uh, contribute quite a bit in your freshman year. Of course, when the tie was out with that injury, you, along with Jacqueline Wolf, able to come in and step in. That's, I think, one been a very big key for Chaminade. They had players, uh, if somebody gets injured or maybe having an, an off night, you have somebody coming in that can take their place. Very valuable playing time for you this year. Yeah, um, it was definitely um, hard for us to have Latai out, you know. Um, she's a big inspiration for me, and it was hard for me to know that she wasn't able to play, but she was a big motivation, and um, I wanted to play for her because she couldn't because of her knee. You know, talk about your teammates a little bit. I mean, this is a very special group, a team that last year, of course, uh, they they experienced uh, a lot of wins, 23 and all. Of course, they experienced postseason as well. Talk about the environment of the team and how close you guys are. Uh, we are very close. It's definitely a sisterhood and a family, and we hold each other accountable to the highest standard. And um, this is a winning team. Everyone has winning mentalities, and that's never going to stop for Shamanad. Well, Ray, a fantastic afternoon for you guys today. Uh, good season so far. You get a week off. Uh, I think you guys deserve it. Come back. We'll see you in about eight days against Hilo, okay? Yeah, thank you uh, so much. All right. Ray Montrose, our guest. Middle blocker for Shamanad. And it's a Swords uh, rebounding after that uh, loss last night against Azusa Pacific. They beat Point Loma in four to uh, pick up their uh, 13th conference win on the season and remain on top in the Pathways Conference.